Hello, I'm Blizznub, and welcome to Building the Best. Today we're going to be looking at the deck Sabaris, the new uh, gift from the... I guess technically this is a gift from DE, not really the Lotus, but our delightful little anniversary award for Warframe's third anniversary. Now, this weapon is incredible, but I would very quickly like to compare it to the regular Sabaris before we go into detail, and if I look, we can see this weapon has a slightly better reload, mag size, fire rate, and crit chance, and a little higher base damage, but um, the base damage is now mostly slash, rather than being a pretty even split. So, it makes it a very interesting weapon to build, as you will soon see, but the weapon's major stat here is uh, its crit chance. It has a fat that's the haiku. That's not what I meant to look at. It has a fantastic 35% crit chance, which is definitely worth building off. But apart from that, the weapon doesn't really have much. It's very accurate, and it has a decent sized magazine for a burst fire weapon. The fire rate is also very fast for a burst fire weapon, meaning that the two shots in the burst go off nearly simultaneously, which is delightful. But honestly, as far as stats go, it isn't anything particularly interesting, but... We can build it to be. So we start off obviously with base damage. We have serration and split chamber buffing our base damage up quite a lot. I was going to go for heavy caliber in this build, but I thought I didn't particularly want my accuracy to drop down, seeing as I'm going to be using this weapon as a sniper. So I then went for shred to buff up the uh, fire rate a tiny bit and put on some punch through, which will help this thing in its sniper role, as personally I find that punch through is very useful on things, on weapons where you want to pick off targets individually, um, because you can take them out uh, behind cover very, very easily. Uh, next we have point strike for crit chance, vital sense and bladed rounds for a lovely 6.8 times crit multiplier um, after a kill. And then we have an elemental combination. It's really a very simple build for this one, but what we get all in all is about a thousand damage, mostly in corrosive, with a very good crit multiplier and a very high crit chance. Now, some people would argue that perhaps you should drop one of the elements for an Argon Scope, and then whilst I did play with that quite a lot, Argon Scope will provide you with a ridiculous amount of red crits, which is nice. We're still only getting, I think it was 130... 4% crit chance with an Argon scope on here. Which, whilst nice, I didn't think was worth dropping off the damage that one of these other mods can provide. Perhaps Shred if you're not too fussed about the punch through, but personally I find that the added fire rate makes this weapon a lot more fun to use. Anyhow, let's go try this thing out, and uh, I'm going to take this thing to series. We're only running with a thousand damage, so I'm not going to take it up against sorty level enemies, but uh, let's go to... I'm looking for an exterminate. There's an exterminate. What am I doing? <coughs> Pardon me. Now, as I say, the Dexabarus is very accurate, and I prefer to use it sort of like a Latron Prime, like a, a single shot um, rifle, and just picking off targets one by one. Of course, we got the long spawn. So give me a second just to run into the map. But yeah, I prefer to use this weapon like a single shot rifle, just taking that the second shot is a bit of extra damage because the two shots are going to land right on top of each other almost perfectly. Ah, messed up my jump, but hey ho. So, what we have here is 10,000 criticals. Oh, to be fair, that was a headshot though. So, we can see I am one shotting practically everything I go at, and the second round is actually wasted, but that's not even a big deal with this weapon because it fires and reloads so incredibly quickly that it doesn't matter. The thing has a massive ammo pool, so there really is no risk of what running out of ammo with this weapon. And you can just pick off targets one by one. And yeah, it's a very fun weapon to use. And it's hardly light on the damage either. This thing is quite impressive when it comes to damage output given the very impressive critical multiplier we can apply to. Okay. And, <laughs> need to find some more enemies now that that one has jumped off the cliff and died. And I must say, D, well done. This weapon has such a satisfying feel when you use it. The, um, the sound of the shot, the feel of the recoil, very, very nice. 
but as far as an actual build goes, this weapon is very easy to build. Like I say, crit and damage and a little bit of elemental on the side, and you're sorted. And it's just very satisfying to use. I'm now slightly regretting not taking it to the sortie, because I realize it probably could have dealt with... Uh, seriously, what? It probably could have dealt with sortie level enemies just fine. But it one-shots these guys very, very easily at level 35 to 40. Which is... Oh, so satisfying. That Prosecutor, of course, surviving because of his elemental resistance, but not for long. Definitely not for long enough. I mean, the Sabaris can just pop away shots so quickly and easily. The only downside, I might say, is perhaps the reload speed. But honestly, one what was that? One point something seconds? Incredibly quick. Anyhow, as I say, I guess pretty much everyone who's playing the game right now has this weapon, so go wild with it. It's a free weapon, and it's a very, very good one. Anyhow, that's pretty much all I have to say. It is such a fun weapon, and I highly recommend you try out this build. So, thank you guys very much for watching. As always, please like and comment below, and subscribe if you want to see more. I'm Blisnup, and this is the Dex Sabaris.